welcome back uh, in the last segment we discussed uh, what is anthropometry and types of anthropometric data uh, in this segment we will discuss some applications of anthropometric data uh, so before we discuss a couple of examples uh, this figure illustrates what actually happens reality the design of controls for example of machine uh, the location is something like this and actual users are uh, having characteristics uh, like the ones shown here so there is a mismatch actually between the position of controls for example on the machine and the anthropometric uh, dimensions of the user uh, so the ideal human actually to use these controls is someone like this. So someone actually that very rarely exists, you can see. Uh, so that is actually the case in reality that the products are designed without regard to the users, their characteristics, and they are sort of forced to adapt to the design. So that is what we call fitting the man to the job. So we can avoid this actually by by considering the uh, user characteristics right uh, during the design process so that design is uh, actually user-centered. So it is easy to use by the relevant uh, population. Here are two examples. The first example is uh, related to standing eye height. Standing eye height. So by definition, this is the height above the ground of the eye of a person standing erect. It can be used as a maximum allowable dimension to locate visual displays for standing operators. So that is the application for this uh, variable standing eye height. And then it is explained the principle that should be used. The principle is that the displays should not be higher than the standing eye height of a short operator short operators should not need to extend the neck to look at displays. The height should be such that the small percentile users can easily uh, read the displays. The second variable is standing shoulder height. So by definition, this is the height of the acromion, uh, the upper part of the shoulder above the ground. It is used to estimate the height of the center of rotation of the arm above the ground and can help specify the maximum allowable height for a control. So this was example of displays. Here is the example of control. And what is the principle? The short worker should not need to elevate the arms above shoulder height to operate a control. So here again, we are designing for the smaller percentile. So in by chance, in both cases, we had the shorter person, the smaller percentile, but the reverse can be true as well. Here are uh, uh, some dimensions related to the car interior. For example, we need to specify the height of interior of the, we need to actually know the seated height of the, of the users and based on that we can give some clearance above the head uh, we can decide of course this overall height we can also decide uh, this positioning of the for example accelerator and brakes positioning of the steering so of course in order to decide these dimensions we need to have the relevant data relevant anthropometric data and this data can be useful actually to design at the range of adjustability of different uh, parts of, uh, of the car in this case. So we will discuss uh, this example as an exercise in detail in which you will have to match the uh, dimensions uh, of the user that is actually the anthropometric variables of the user and you will have to match them to the, to the different dimensions of the interior of a vehicle. So in the following slide, I will show you a product and you have to do two things. First one is to identify 
the important dimensions of the products that will be shown. Second thing you will have to do is to relate them to anthropometric variables, most relevant to the design. So you have to do two things, identify the important dimensions of the products and then relate them to the anthropometric variables, most relevant to, to the design. So first product is screwdriver. So think what are the important dimensions of screwdriver and what are corresponding important anthropometric variables. The second product is power drill. Identify the important dimensions of this power drill, important features of this drill and corresponding anthropometric variables. Another product is a common product uh, used more commonly that is mattress. What are the important dimensions of the mattress and what are the important uh, relevant anthropometric variables? An industrial product, in this case, power station control panel, to list down what are the important functions of this control panel that must be considered and what are the corresponding anthropometric variables. And then we have mobile phone keyboard. So again, identify the important dimensions to design this mobile phone keyboard and what are the relevant anthropometric uh, variable. So list down both things for all these products. Try to think slightly out of box and we will discuss them during the question answer session. Thank you very much.